Today we are embarking on the first round of a short culinary journey through vegetables in Germany. Last year I presented a few regional specialties. This year I would like to present a typical vegetable every month. This is not so easy in January, but one of my favorite vegetables is also available now. Brussels sprouts, botanically Brassica oleracea varianta gemifera. The first evidence of the cultivation of Brussels sprouts came from the Spanish Netherlands, now Belgium, and dates back to 1587. Cultivation then began on a larger scale around 1821. This is where the initial name, Chaux de Brois, literally cabbage from Brussels or Brussels sprouts, came from. From then on it was a much sought after winter vegetable. Brussels sprouts ripen in late winter, so you can also get fresh vegetables in January. They are sown from April to May. When the florets are formed in the fall, they need a lot of water. Early varieties can be harvested from September, most November to December. If it doesn't get too cold, below minus 10 degrees Celsius, Brussels sprouts are even hardy. The cold temperatures in the winter cause the plant to produce glucose. The cold in the winter gives its nutty sweet taste and there is sometimes a slightly bitter taste on the finish. Brussels sprouts are not always popular with children. Since the 1990s, however, this bitter taste has been largely bred out. Brussels sprouts contain a lot of vitamin B or C as well as calcium, magnesium and iron. This is particularly valuable in the winter. Not everyone is familiar with the plant itself, even if they have often seen it on the table. This is what it looks like in the field and it is harvested from bottom to top. If you don't harvest them yourself you can buy them fresh in the winter or frozen in the summer. But how do you prepare Brussels sprouts? Steaming them is recommended and cooking them is not difficult. After a quick wash remove the hard stalk and outer leaves and make a cross-shaped cut at the bottom. If you like you can leave a like for my hard-working wife here. Then we put the Brussels sprouts in cold water and cooked them with a little butter or margarine and salt and pepper until they were as firm as we wanted about 15 to 20 minutes similar to potatoes. Personally I like it when it's not so soft that you can mash it on the palate with your tongue but you have to bite into it with your teeth. However I like it softer in soups or stews. For me hearty meat dishes such as goulash, roast or game will go well with this flavor served with simple salted potato. I really enjoyed it. When it comes from the freezer it is often served with a light sauce. But you can find all kinds of different recipes on various websites. From the rather plain version we have here there are also granitas fried in a pan with bacon or ham, granitated with sauces or as part of a soup or stew. In fact, there are virtually no limits to your imagination. Have you ever eaten Brussels sprouts? How do you like them best? Let us know in the comments. Next week we will continue our studies in Germany and we will look at the next vegetable in four weeks time. Thank you for your attention and bon appetit.